all right welcome to my channel or welcome back i'm intuitive empress thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that's being served for you on today this is a general message for all signs so take what resonates and leave the rest in other words while you're feasting on this meal on today don't forget to eat the meat and don't choke on the bones to my subscribers thank you for your love and support i appreciate each and every one of you don't forget to hit that like button all right the youtube algorithms are looking for that and the reviews and the likes are not matching up so please let it match up it does help me out a great deal and if you enjoy this content it will keep me alive on youtube okay um Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber and hit that bell notification so you know when the next video is available okay remember all energy and time is fluid okay so feel free to flip the energies feel free to um flip the signs as necessary this is a fire sign reading yes i am doing uh, the fire sign, the signs, elements, full readings. It's been a while since I've done that, but we're going to find out what is going on with my Aries, my Leos, and my Sagittariuses. Okay. If you would like a personal read, that information is in the description below, as well as my Etsy shop for crystal manifestation jewelry, crystal manifestation jars, protection, uh, healing love and money so check that out all right i also have oracle cards that you will see me using here i will be using the intuitive guidance deck all right we're clearing up the energy here and if you would like to donate to the channel you have two options you have the thank you button that's underneath this video you may have to scroll to the right to get to it or scroll to the left to get to it, um, or you can check out my um, options for donations um, as far as payment methods. It is greatly appreciated and does help me out with getting this content to you in a quick manner. All right, so we are getting into the reading. We're going to start out with some Kipper here holy spirit heavenly angel of the most high god and father god we ask that you would have your way in this message for our fire signs give us clear accurate messages we rebuke and bind up and cast out into outer darkness these evil negative energies that may try to come to hinder myself and my viewers mm. okay so we're starting out you're either going on a journey or someone is journeying towards you possibly this main male or you could be a main male this is the divine masculine card in the kipper deck so we have a main masculine who is on a journey this could be a spiritual journey we have the letters f w all right we have the letters c and m okay so these could be your initials, okay? Doesn't have to be, or your persons, all right? Someone, possibly this main male, this is you, you're thinking of someone, this beautiful young lady in this picture that he's so enamored with that he painted a picture of and now is contemplating, all right? Or if you are the feminine, you have a main male that is traveling towards you that you are in their thoughts, all right? So now we're going to go to the intuitive guidance deck again it's on my etsy shop you have it available in the hard copy deck and also uh the digital um printout so you can print your own cards there are instructions there as well on how to use the deck um the printout is um discounted well i'm not going to say it's a fraction of the cost of an actual uh printed deck um there 
So that's to help people. I know that times are tough. So if you really want my Oracle cards and they have just been out of your price range, you might want to check that out. OK. All right. So we have manifestation. Someone is manifesting you in. Yes, they are. Someone is manifesting you in. OK. Um, someone is looking for victory and success when it comes to you. They have a goal in their journey towards you to get your attention. But this main male may have an ego problem, a bruised ego, may be prideful in their communication and very arrogant. Hmm. Strutting his stuff like a peacock. Um, if you don't know, a peacock is the male version of that bird. You have the peacock and you have the peahen. The peacock is the one that's all adorned with these beautiful feathers and uh, shines, uh, puts them up. People say, oh, it's out of pride, but uh, they do it when they're angry and or when they see a female suitor. OK, and they do this whole dance to get the peahen's attention. And guess what? If she's not interested, then he's walking away. All right. So for some of you, you may not have been interested in this person's uh advancements towards you okay bruising their ego all right hmm so this person has a even though their thoughts are with you they could be with someone else who faked a pregnancy all right someone who may have had a false positive or maybe at one point you thought you were pregnant by this person and it was a false positive okay um but what I'm seeing is that there may be someone pulling an emotional tug of war, um, trying to entrap this main male. What else do we have, Holy Spirit? Wow. Oh, 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 okay. So we have here, hmm. A Taurus that could be involved. This could be your energy or this could be that of your person. Please take it as it resonates. This is someone who likes luxury and beauty, comfort. But guess what? They can afford it. Tauruses rule the house of money. Uh, so most Tauruses will have that bag. OK, um, they like to have luxury around them. They could be seen as materialistic. They can be seen I could say we, because I am a Taurus, we could be seen as materialistic, uh, selfish, because we don't give our money away frivolously. Um, we know how to invest our money. Um, we are the type that could walk in a store and pick up a little trinket like this little elephant guy. All right. And it'll be the most expensive thing in the store. <laughs> That's just the way we are. We are kind, we are sensual, which means, hey, if the mood strikes, we are all for it. We like touches, sounds. We are a um, sensory um, sign, fire signs. Um, so um, we like touch, we like sound, we like the whole experience of whatever it is we're doing, okay? Um, we're logical. OK, we're not ruled by our emotions. You can get to our emotions, but it takes some time to get there. And we are very, very patient with those that we love. We're patient with everything. But then you have the Capricorn. OK, so a Capricorn is involved in this situation. Someone who is detail oriented, intelligent. Trust me, Capricorns are all for the details. OK. Uh, they're intelligent. They listen, okay, because they are detail oriented and they will bring back those details when they need to. Um, the same as uh, Taurus, because we're logical. We go with facts of the situation. All right. Um, a Capricorn is confident and caring. All right. We do have someone here in remorse. This could be your person. This could be um, the person um, that has a fake pregnancy or it could be you all right 
somebody's feeling foolish. I feel like this is your person and remorse and foolish because for some of you, this person walked away for someone else thinking that they were going to get something better. They may have even moved and traveled states to be with this person. And now they're trying to um, walk back to you They They have you on the brain. They're thinking of how can I get this person back? It could possibly be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Um, even though both signs tend to be very into, uh, intuitive, I feel like they did not listen to their intuition in this situation. All right. Somebody in this situation is a prophet where they sought the advice of a prophet, someone who had foresight. All right. Someone who had a spiritual teacher. So this person could be going to their spiritual leader to get divine revelation on what to do. Okay. All right. And this is not a false prophet because it came in the upright. You do have false prophets out there. All right. Where did that card go? Here we go. All right. So there was an argument. There was a blow up. There was a fight. Someone is very upset. Could be this karmic energy. Um, if somebody is faking a pregnancy to get someone that is low vibrational and very karmic. Um, so this could be this person upset because they are seeing your glow up. Or this could be your person upset because they realize that they missed out on the divine feminine or divine masculine, take it as it resonates, who is doing fantabulous, I like to say, okay? Um, they realize that you were their soulmate, okay? They realize that there is a soul tie here. You might still be feeling it. You, If you're sitting and you're working or you're doing something else and all of a sudden this person comes to your mind, it's because they're thinking about you. All right. And that soul tie is there. You have a spiritual connection. This is someone that you at one point even thought was your friend. OK, so it was more than a romantic relationship. OK, this person is now single and unattached, available to date, no longer in this relationship. All right. Um, they're wondering if you are still single and unattached, but they know that they have been blocked from your energy access denied this could be by you this could be by the holy spirit you have that no trespassing sign up all right you have not been communicating with this person all right because you knew um there was more to this situation there's more uh there's missing information that this person did not tell you they might not have told you they were walking away or someone else all right this person does see you as their true love we have pisces energy Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have a Gemini that could be involved. All right. We have this person reaching out to you through song or maybe listening to love songs, the love songs that they courted you with. All right. Um, triggering their memories or maybe everywhere they go, they hear your song. Okay. This person was definitely a runner and this person is going to communicate with you. But for many of you, you're like, nope, get away from me. All right. Um, because what about that other woman? So some of you knew about this other woman, this mistress, this third party, this karmic connection that this person now feels confined in. All right. But this person is definitely trying to manifest you. But be careful because there may be some addiction going on here. All right. Wow. But you definitely match this person's energy. If this person is a prophet and not seeking a prophet. OK, your energies match. You are a divine connection with a life purpose. OK, together that you had to perform. All right. This is someone um, if this is your energy, you have high discernment and spiritual insight. Also, again, divine knowledge. This person. If they are a female, they could or male, they could be going to a prophetess or prophet to get information. but. They still have this karmic connection, this third party. Um, this third party does not have to be romantic either. This could be for some of you, it is another man or another woman. For others of you, this is a um, friend or family member. All right. This person they were with was um, a strategist. They were cool and calculated. Okay. 
we have the divine feminine to go with the divine masculine. This person now sees that you are the divine feminine and they ended up with a drama queen. This is why they are in hot pursuit of you, Aries. You could be dealing with a cancer. All right. Many of you are worrying if this person has a secret agenda when they come back. Hmm. Or this karmic had a secret agenda, but there were the lies and deceit and interior motive. So do be careful. We do have this person now chasing you. The runner has become the chaser. All right. This could be an Aquarius who is panicked. All right. Because they realize uh, they're anxious and nervous and paranoid about this situation. You could have been dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Libra. All right. Who now wants to build with you, but you see them as a phony. Hmm. All right, Leo, we have Leo and we have Aries that came up in the fire sign read. For some of you, this person is going to a tarot reader to get information on you. All right. Um, for some of you, the karmic could be going, pretending to be you to get a reading on you and your life. If the tarot reader is truly spiritual, they will be able to pick up on that. Um, for some of you, your person is going to find out about you because they want to come back. But for some of you, this person is a true hustler. So really be careful. All right. This person, when they come in, may be trying to trigger you. So make sure that you walk in divine guidance, the guidance that the Holy Spirit is giving you. All right. Because somebody in this situation is a clout chaser and full of lust. Someone who is immature and still partying hardy. Okay. But some of you, you walked away from this person or this person could be your twin flame, but they are still in pride. We still have the pride card, but this person now is thinking of you and nostalgic of you. All right. Even though they gave you mixed signals in the past, some of you, for some of you people, it came to light a divine revelation to this person, um, who you are, or you got a revelation of the situation. All right. This person is feeling like they love you or in love with you. All right. My perspective always is if I can fall in love, then I can fall out of love. First of all, if you're falling, that's an accident anyway. All right. But this person is going to spontaneously um, pop up on you. They may have been stalking you, but you are divinely protected. For some of you, this is the karmic. All right. Uh, stalking you and watching you because they don't want the person to leave. You are going to be happy or you are already happy. All right. Things are going to happen in divine timing. Many of you are moving on. Many of you are getting that bag. OK. And we do have the karmic feminine popping up. All right. Again. So we have the um, karmic energy there. So it could be male or female. All right. I did not know I was going to go into the deck like that. But that is the message that is coming out here. All right. And like I said, for some of you, this may not have even been. A romantic situation. It could have been a family member or a friend with the karmic card coming out that was trying to come in between this relationship. This could have been a jealous friend of yours. This could have been a jealous friend of your person. This could have been a jealous parent, sibling. Take it as it resonates. You know your story better than anyone else. So let's move on. I cannot believe that we are at the time frame that we are at already. But a lot came out of that deck. So let's get some clarity. Holy Spirit, what is um, the issue and the situation and the T on the situation for our fire signs, our Leos, our Aries, our Sagittarius's? All right. This is the clarity deck that I got off of Etsy. All right. I got this off of Etsy. It's not in my Etsy shop. All right. So we have this. This person was dissing you. This person had cutting remarks. All right. Expressing disrespect and hurtful words towards you before this left this person who's on this journey. OK. Towards you or this person could have experienced this from the karmic energy, whatever karmic energy that may be. All right. This karmic energy and or your person could have been flashy, bougie. Um, ghetto but bougie or whatever that's what i heard um over exaggerating their status spending a lot of money that they don't have and fake flexing this person could have did this to get the karmic 
and now they could be in the struggle all right this person is dealing with struggle love when it comes to this karmic this is why they thinking of you they did not struggle like that um when they were with you even if they made it seem like that they were all right this person is in a frustrating situation going through trying times okay um This person is going through and the karmic started being disrespectful when they ran out of money, okay? And they did everything for this bay, okay? They prioritized them. They put them before anyone else for some of you, even family, okay? Even their children, if they have children, they put this person above everything, they got swept up in their emotions, all right? They were very bullheaded and did not listen to solid advice when it came to this person. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. What else do we have, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this situation? What else do we have, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this situation? Wow. Okay. So this person, Bonnie and Clyde, were famous bank robbers and criminals. All right. Um, you would say Bonnie and Clyde were ride or die for each other. They actually um, un unalive together. Okay. Um with a big um, flail of ping, 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 okay? Um, for your person, it was them and this karmic against the world, so they thought. They thought this was a dedicated partnership, but it was not, okay? And because they thought that it was um, a ride or die situation, um, is uh, they were breadcrumbing you. Okay, they put little effort in. They could have even used you to get some of that money that they were flashing around. Hmm. This person was a hothead. A lot of arguments, screaming, yelling at you. For some of you, they... Um, this person had anger issues, uh, your person, nonetheless, fire signs. But this person also started arguments. So they would have an excuse to leave the house to be with this karmic energy if this person lived with you. Or they were starting arguments so you would not want to see them because they were seeing this other person. All right. This person, for some of you, only wanted to come when they were available to Netflix and chill to get that good good. Okay. Hmm. This person was with this karmic because they could tell them to do anything and they would do it. This person appeared to your person as someone who lacked their own opinions that was easily influenced in a follower, but they were playing your person the whole time. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before we wrap this up? This is going to be the last shovel for this. Ooh, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> it was like glass shuffle. I'm going to give you all of that. All right. All right. For some of you, this person um, could have been listening to gossip, just sipping the tea, um, feeding into rumors. This could have been the karmic itch issue or your person's listening to whatever karmic is a person they were listening to. They were saying you had no chill, that you were overreacting in situations. Um or unable to control your feelings, all right? They went after somebody who they felt was a bad A, all right? Um, confident and bold, a force to be reckoned with and taking no ish, all right? Uh, for some of you, or this could have been your person's energy. They came off as a bad behind, okay? Now this person is, has the blues in their feelings, all right? Heavy in their emotions, going through mental distress um they're still low vibing um because when you're down like that your energy is not vibing okay but now they're trying to bridge the gap 
all right? They're trying to rebuild that bridge that they set on fire uh, and doused with gasoline just to make sure they destroyed that bridge. Now they're trying to rebuild it and have a reunion with you to close the distance, to come closer. They're definitely working to manifest you in, okay? Um, this person may even be going to um, uh, a practitioner to do spell work and love spells uh, towards you, okay? Or it could be that the karmic is trying to build a bridge and going to... Um, someone okay to try to keep your person all right so all right yep okay thank you holy spirit all right so what's going on for my fire signs hmm somebody is a narcissist in this situation could be your person could be this karmic in um person but i do feel like it is your person was a little bit of a narcissist with their ego coming out and you just wanted your freedom. This person journeying towards you wants a freedom from the karmic. You want freedom from this situation altogether for some of you. Hmm. For some of you, you could be going on a spiritual journey or went on a spiritual journey. All right. And you realize that you did not want any parts of this person. Hmm. This person is a, a coward. Okay, it says they're a coward. That could be this main male that's coming up. They're getting karma for their situation. And so with the karmic. Hmm. This person may have had family issues in the past or this person played on your past family history, your upbringing, your childhood, wanting love and everything like that. Um, some of you may have had unhealed wounds and they played on that. The karmic is jealous of you. Hmm. They're getting karma and they are jealous of you. Hmm. But some of you, um, this person may be coming in next year. We are in the last quarter of the year because, again, they're planning. Um, this is someone for some of you. Wow. This person was very mentally abusive to you. Um, for others of you, they could be going through this with this toxic relationship that they're currently in. It's definitely poison to them, all right? But they can't say anything about it because they made their choice. Your person did. Wow. And for some of you, like I said, it's a sad situation because for some of you, this was your twin flame. For others of you, this was a soulmate, okay? Mm. Ooh, okay. For some of you, you could have been with this person for five to 10 years. Okay. Or some of you, this person could have been away for five to 10 years in this other relationship. But others of you, you could have a child that's between the ages of five and 10 years with this person that was for the streets. Wow. And I know that is for someone because their car jumped out at me, landed right on my arm. Like, you going to take me. <laughs> Anything else, Holy Spirit? Mm. Yep, this person that's for the streets wants a second chance with you. Mm. But they haven't changed because for some of you, they like the life that they were living, the player lifestyle, that phony lifestyle, flaunting their money. Because again, somebody's a cloud chaser. This person may even want to try to uh, have a family with you or they have a family with you. Um, this person may even try to get you pregnant. So watch out for that or get, have a baby on you. Take it as it resonates. All right. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Mm. Oh, okay. All right. Again, we have messages and music. So this person is sending you messages and music. Hmm. Um, this came in the reverse. Deuces. 
I will not reach out. Gone, gone. This is probably what this person said to you when they were out the door, not knowing karma was coming. So this person is definitely going to communicate with you. But for many of you, this person is no longer the one. If they were your twin flame or soulmate, or they could have been a karmic uh, soulmate or a false flame. And so spirit is saying for some of you, this person is not the one. Or, oh, okay. For some of you, you're saying I'm not the one for this bull crap. Don't come back around here. Wow. Um, this person could have been jealous of you. Uh, which is why they gossiped about you. They were mean. They were scandalous. They were envious. They were petty. Um, you could have been doing better financially than this person. Yes, your mate can be jealous of you. Hmm. I'm hearing toxic masculinity. This person wanted to prove that they were a man. And so they got this money up and they had more than what this karmic had or so they thought. And they may have even been paying bills where they wasn't paying bills with you and couldn't pay bills with you. But some of you, this person took money that they got from you, money that they were supposed to pay the bills with, money that they were supposed to be contributing into your household and contributed it to this person's household. The karmic is getting karma because they knew full well about you. And they still took this step. For some of you, this karmic knew that you were their twin flame or soulmate because they were going to tarot readers, but they felt like they won because they stole your person. Wow. Okay. Anything else, Holy Spirit? For my fire signs, my Aries, my Leos, and my Sagittarius. For some of you, um, if you are a cross watcher, there was a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius that either was your person or the karmic. Take it as it resonates. All right. I'll be missing you. This person is missing you. I said that before. But you're like no more drama by Mary J. Blige. Check out that song. Hmm. When You Believe by Whitney Houston and my, uh, Mariah Carey. This main man, Mel, is believing they're doing affirmations to get you back. All right. They didn't realize that you realize when they walked away, you were capable. Capable and strong. Mark 10 and 27. Hmm. That's something when people get this stuff, they think they're going to leave you busted and disgusted, begging for them to come back. And it doesn't happen that way with those of us who are chosen, who have uh, stepped into their life purpose. The, for some of you, this situation with this person, um, your twin flame or soulmate or false flame um, or karmic soulmate thrusted you into your life purpose. Hmm. Fire sign, fire sign. Oh, did y'all see that card flip up? <laughs> oh, God, this really wanted to come out. Tell the end of time, Justin Timberlake and Beyonce. Check that song out. Because <clears throat> I feel like this person feels like your mind till the end of time, or they are going to be thinking of you till the end of time, knowing what they lost. Okay? For some of you, you're broken and beautiful or were broken and beautiful when this person left. For many of you, like, again, y'all have experienced your glow up. Everybody's at different times in the timeline. So please take it as it resonates. For some of you, this person could have walked away um, recently. These cars are flying everywhere. This person thinks that you're heaven sent. OK, if this song has been coming to you, please uh, listen to it. Or even if it's not in this message resonates with you, check it out. Yeah, this person said you were heaven sent or but felt like you were heaven sent. And they're thinking about when they was your man or when they was your woman, Bruno Mars. 
<laughs> okay, so we had love come out. This person really love you, and you like what's love? Fat Joe. <laughs> what's love got to do with it? That's Tina Turner. You might want to check that out. Mm. For many of you, you're like, what was if I'm single or my life is none of your concern anymore? Janae Ayoko and Big Sean. Wow. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Wow. Remember, we're reading for fire signs. So in it's different situations, 13,000 plus strong on the channel. All right. So for some of you, you like, it's enough crying. I've had my feel of this hood love where this person might be saying, oh, we got hood love um, and everything like that. You know how it is. We argue, we come back. All right. But you've learned your lessons in love, TDG. All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um. I was not expecting this to pop out, but <laughs> for some of you, this person is going to deny, deny, deny. That's why we had secrets and hidden agendas. This person will say, oh, it wasn't me. And this song came out in the 90s. And I was a young girl then. And even that, and you see the video, he's like, it wasn't me. It was like, you caught on camera. It wasn't me. I saw you with my own eyes. It wasn't me. I don't know what you saw, but it wasn't me. This person is going to deny, deny, deny. All right. So for many of you, you like mm, my tears dried on my, my my own. You walked off or I put you out or whatever the situation was. And I had to heal on my own and they dried on their own. Amy Winehouse, check that song out. I love that song. All right. Even though this person, like, you know that I love you, baby. You know that I love you. But this person is saying, since you've been gone, 20, day 26. Wow. All right. We're wrapping this up with this last bit of this deck. What else do we have from this person? Whether it's not fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Messages, messages, messages. All right. Any other messages? Oh, yep. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So we got all the fire signs out on deck because now here is Aries. Aries did come out earlier. Uh, Leo and well, actually, this Sag come out. Or did Aries come out again? So I don't remember. All right. <laughs> but we have Aries here. All right. And I know for a fact Leo came out. All right. Mm. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Mm. 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 Yep. This person. <laughs> Woo. This person is saying, let me explain. They want to come in with an explanation. But again, they are going to say it wasn't them. They're going to come up with some excuse. They're not taking accountability. All right. So God is telling you, let go and let God, Dwayne Woods. All right. He's telling you to live your life. Okay. Because you are brave. You are capable. Because capable came out again. That was on the bottom of the deck. And it came out. So God really wants you to know that you are capable. Greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. So who's in you is God, the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit is inside of you. Greater is the Holy Spirit that's in you than anyone that's in this world. You learned your lessons. Okay. Move on. Okay. And for many of you, like I made it through this. Okay. I made it. I made it. Fantasia and Ty Tribbett. We are going to wrap up on this message. Thank you, Fire Signs, for joining me. All right, for this message, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye.